I really, really like Pomona just because, like, I've been here all my life. But I want to live in, like, the big city, but also I want to have, like, a suburban household and, like, live that life, too. And I think a big city would be nice for a job. But, like, for my home life, I want to be, I'd like to stay in Pomona. But it's kind of difficult to get a really good job here. Um, she's a very strong woman. I admire her so much. Like, she's been through so much. Not just like Lynn had told us before, like the immigration part, everybody has that story. But then again, she still like has those, she has her own problems. It's not just us with uh, her own fam, with our little family, my dad, my brother, her, and myself. It's also with her family. She hasn't seen her mom in, what is it now, 18 years? And every single time she talks to her, she cries so much. And I'm, I always have to be there for her and tell her, like, she wants to go back, but then again, she can't. And just looking at her stay here and be strong and always have a smile on her face. It just, I admire her. She's my everything. So with your mom not being able to see her mom, how does that make you feel? It makes me be grateful for having her next to me. Because if I wouldn't be able to see my mom for, like, a day, Imagine 18 years, that's, I wouldn't be able to, I, don't, I would go crazy without my mother. She's like everything to me. Talk to me about your dad. Oh, my dad. A lot of people think my dad is scary, but in actuality, my dad is one of the nicest person you could ever meet in your life. At first, he comes off a little too strong, but he can flip it and give you like some of the best advice you've ever gotten or tell you things about life that you would never come across your mind so my dad is pretty awesome but people think he's scary because he's big and black and tall and bald head so <laughs> he's not that bad when you meet him he's, he's a perfect person but yeah okay. special and i got had something special for me in life not from like myself but i've been to help others so I think I could say that I, I'm the beginning of uh, the beginning of someone that's going to be there for so many people. And I want to make a difference in people. Have you ever felt like quitting? I did. I gave up. And I gave up. And it went wrong. But I got, I admired myself for, I was at the level of the ground because I had given up. and. I still had the strength, and I got back up, and I kept going, and I'm here, and I'm trying, and I know I'm going to make it. Who do you talk to? I talk to myself. <laughs> what do you talk to yourself about? <laughs> about what I should be doing right and what, and what I'm doing wrong. So, do you ever say positive things to yourself or negative? I say both. Um, when you do something wrong, do you are you hard on yourself? Yeah, I am. But then I have to think I can't do that. I have to be I have to be positive about it too. I wanna help others. Kids going through something difficult in your life. So I plan to make dream. Have you been through something difficult in your life? No, but my little sister has, and I can't help her in any way. Therefore, I want to help others. So, in helping others, you feel like you're helping your sister? Like, I see what she's going through, so, therefore, I'd be like, I can't help her now. Like, I try helping her, but I can help others later in the future. Um, let's say you went to go get a physical for the sport and the doctor told you that you had two weeks to live. What would you do? I would play the sport because I don't want to live, I don't want to die without doing what I wanted to do in the first place before I found out that I was going to die. So in the two weeks, you would, you would, what would you do in the two weeks? You would play tennis? I would play tennis. I would tell everybody that I love them. Even if I've never talked to them, I would tell them how special they are and how essential they are to be a part of my life. So why don't you do that now? I have been doing that now, actually. Why do you do that? Because I 
because you never know when you're, you're just going to disappear from this place. It's really unknown to humans. No one knows what, what's going to happen to us. So it's really, really essential for you to just tell them now and just show them how much you appreciate them. The tragedy in Boston, what are your thoughts about that? I think that was like a really bad tragedy, tragedy but I think it was a little overhyped because a lot of people die and like tonight in Detroit, 10 people will be stabbed and nobody's gonna care. I think that a lot of areas like Compton, Compton or areas that are, I wouldn't say as high class as other ones, have like a lot more fatalities and there's no attention, there's no media attention on it. Have you ever gotten sick in school? Yeah. When? Um, fourth grade, I, my pressure was low, my sugar was low, my lips started turning purple and I was having an anxiety attack and I had to end up going to the hospital. Really? Yeah. What, when was this? Fourth grade. You had an anxiety attack? Do you still have them? Um, once in a while, yeah. What? How do you know when they're getting ready to start? Um, I start shaking a lot, like a lot. Um, I try and talk, but it, it just gets like too hard for me to talk. And I feel like really weak, like I just feel like if... But in the same way as I feel weak, I feel like if I don't do anything, like I'm gonna just go crazy. Good. You had $10 million. <laughs> Outside of buying your mom a house, what would be the first thing you buy yourself? A dirt bike. When was the last time you were really hurt? Um, when, in the summer when my cousin passed away. I'm Tina. Um, not a Christian. I'm a Christian, but I, not because I go to church, but because I believe in God. I believe He's the one that has a plan for us, and I'm determined to do the best I can in my life to influence others. I believe in. I believe in fairies. <laughs> I believe in a lot of magical stuff, but I also believe in suffering that there's always change and there's always suffering in this world and you kind of have to accept things for how it is received to you.